guys so I just wanted to do a little makeup tutorial for you guys this is kind of like an evening date night kind of Valentine's Day look there are lots of different Valentine's Day looks that you can go for a lot of people like to do you know fun crazy festive looks you know lots of pinks lots of reds really vibrant those are for you know parties or clubs or whatever um, this is just kind of like a date night kind of Valentine's Day look something I'd wear out on a date with my husband and I want to look nice not too festive but you know not too subtle either also I do want to apologize for the lighting I have really really bad lighting in my house and um, there's just not a lot I can do about it right now I'm trying to figure out you know like a better position for my camera my desk basically sorry about the bad lighting guys just bear with me please so if you guys like this makeup look then keep watching I'm applying Urban Decay's original primer potion all over the eye area Ugh, this eyebrow always looks higher than the other one I don't know like my eyebrows that's just how my eyebrows are it's so strange sorry about the glare right here that you're getting I'm pointing the mirror to my face so I can see so I'm gonna just get all the way up to my brow bone under the eyelids then I'm taking Second Love Cosmetics Cream Gel Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Pink Frost. It just looks like that, this really pretty soft pink. I'm applying some of that to my finger and putting this all over my lid. Next, I'm taking um, this other cream eyeshadow by Second Love Cosmetics, and this is um, a silvery, frosty color and angelic. I also think I lift my eyebrow up too, like when I'm talking it just kind of goes up, it's really weird. This one is a little bit more pigmented, which is great if you're into silver eyeshadows. Lots of people love silvers or golds. I'll be taking Sienna and Orange Soda and I'm going to be mixing those together and applying this to my crease. I am so sorry about the lighting, you guys. Oh my gosh. I just can't stand it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do before anything else is apply my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to be taking cream right here. This is just a nice matte nude color right under the brow bone. I'm also going to be taking some of that color with this smaller brush here. And I'm going to be putting that right into... My tear duct area. With the flat shader brush, I am taking pink sapphire right here all over the rest of my lid. Okay, I tried zooming out a little bit because my camera is not capturing the color. Like how, I don't know what's going on with this lighting, but it's really not showing my makeup how it really looks in real life what sucks about this. I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm taking black diamond right here. It's this sparkly kind of black and it has different color um, reflex in it. And I'm going to be just mixing that with pink sapphire um, and I'm going to be putting that right here into the outer V. I have this fluffy angled brush and I'm going to be blending it in with that. I'm going to take the pencil brush and just apply some of the black diamond right here under my lash line and then take some pink sapphire, put it right under here. I am going to take some liquid eyeliner by e.l.f and wing out my liner and then I will be adding some more black diamond into the, the outer crease. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. I'm not gonna be doing a too dramatic wing because I am gonna be applying more black um, eyeshadow so I don't want it to be too crazy but I'm gonna tight line my eyelid I'll be taking black diamond on this little pencil brush again 
and applying it just right into the outer crease. So sorry about how terrible the lighting is, guys. I promise you I am trying to find um, a way to get better lighting. Um, it's pretty early right now. It is 11.45 in the morning and I... I live in Portland, so as you guys know, the weather here kind of sucks, and like I've mentioned in one of my videos, the um, view from my window right here is not very good. I don't get any sunlight ever. Um, there are other apartments right behind our apartment, so it's like completely blocked. I'm then going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm using this Lash Accelerator Mascara by Rimmel London. Also gonna be applying Tarte Lights Camera Lashes on top of that. Um, I'm now going to apply my foundation and my concealer and lipstick. Today I'm going to be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay um, foundation. This is in the shade medium. This is a translucent powder. I'm just putting this on to mattify my face after putting on my foundation. The last thing that I'm going to do is apply lipstick and this is from Second Love also. And this is in the color Pink Sorbet. Their lipsticks smell so good too. Um, they're kind of fruity and like kind of tart. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Like, it's just beautiful. You could really pull this look together if you add some false lashes. All of my lashes are really old and just nasty. I'm not going to be using them. I need to get more. For my lips, I used this lipstick by Second Love and this is in Pink Sorbet. This is just a really gorgeous color as you can tell. Really pink, like a soft kind of Barbie pink. I just love it. It's beautiful. And for my eyebrows, I used this eyebrow compact also by Second Love. This has a brow gel and two different shadows in it. So yeah, I just thought I would tell you guys that um, in case you guys were wondering. I know I didn't mention that in my video. Well, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you guys have any requests, if you want to see a more dramatic Valentine's Day look, let me know. I can go all out with glitter, pinks, darker blacks, just anything you guys want to see. Follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts. I have a personal one and a makeup artist page, and I'll have the links to everything down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.